as I got to junior high, um, I had my English teacher. She she was real hard on me because her and her daughter was attracted to me. Y'all get that backstory on that. <clears throat> but um yeah, she was real hard on me. Uh she made fun of me, you know. <laughs> She won another one of those Jolly fans. But um, <clears throat> she was so hard on me, I just started ditching. You know, before then, I was just a regular dude just going to school. Like, you know, now from one class all day, I got six classes. You know, I like that a lot because I could see different people, different, you know. But it didn't satisfy my lust for learning, you know. So I didn't care, you know, skip that. You may, you made fun of me. Okay. Your daughter liked me. Okay. You know, you just all in class, Mr. Jolly. I'm good. Start ditching, became the king of ditching, ran into Mr. Beverly. Mr. Beverly hated me so much. He, he get me expelled from school, you know? Then I go to LOP where the same lady who uh, held me back in the first grade is now my teacher. And this is a continuation school. So my lust for knowledge ain't going nowhere. You know, then I go to TAF. Now at TAF, it is no reason for me to be a rebel. <laughs> I'm going to tell you. I ditched, yeah. But I'm going to tell you, it was a conglomerate of a utopia and just people from across the world who wanted to visit there. It was beautiful. Now, when I say every race, it was probably every race of people there. So it was more so, you know, a learning experience from going from just dealing with three, four type of people to dealing with, you know, I had a, I had one of my Hindu friends and, you know, I'm talking to her and she's like, oh, I'm so dizzy. And I'm like, what do you mean you're so dizzy? She's like, yeah, I'm so dizzy. And I'm like, well, go eat something. She's like, no, I can't go eat nothing. I'm like, what the hell is wrong with you? Well, in my culture, you know, we don't, uh, we don't, um, eat during this part of the year. But what do you mean your culture, your religion don't let you eat? You know, and she was like, yeah, I'm fasting right now and I can't have any peanuts until later. And I was like, well, what the hell is wrong with you? And that's stupid. That was just because I didn't understand. She And she still don't understand her culture and why she fasts. You see, that's another topic that I want to get on. It's why people fast and the reason behind it and not just the religious reason. So when I go here, not only was I a kid already reading about all the gods of the world, I was actually learning the people that were worshiping these gods because where I'm from, it's either you Catholic or you Christian. And that, that was as far as it went. Now, as a child, I was raised in the Catholic church, you see, until I became a teenager. Then my boy, you know, Kirby up the street, he was like, hey, I'm going to this fly teen church. And I was like, a teen church? But children, hop on that. I go to the teen church, no lie. Youngsters in there rapping, you feel me? Rapping about God, you know? I don't care. I, I was a believer then too. I didn't want to get on the stage and rap, but you. it was fascinating to see the other side of the coin to where, you know, in the Catholic church, it's just very... You come in and you hear him speak and he say all the scriptures and you come in and you get your wafer and your little drink of the blood and, you know, bow your heads 
and then I step into this teen church and they rapping. Yeah, I, I am kind of digging that because they already seen the foresight of where it could go. You see, and they were accepting of the people of the community instead of just saying, hey, that's bad music. We don't like that. They said, hey, if that's what you do, then go ahead and rap about it. You know, and yeah, it was it was very fun. <clears throat> they went on trips. Uh, I still see Teen Challenge. You know what I'm saying? Things around the world. You know, um, that's what they do. But in my community, this was an outlet for young children who didn't want to be, you know, just hanging out. And I ain't gonna lie. I never stopped smoking weed. Eight months of my whole life. So even though I went to church, I was still high. Even though, you know, I was worshiping God, I was still high. You see what I'm saying? So it's never like I didn't never smoke. I talk on my cannabis. But when the church said, look, we accept you as you are. Because you, especially because you're children, I was feeling that. But when you go back to how they set it up, it, it's, it's wrong because they find out what you into and steal it. But when it comes to more of my high school, I was more a relaxed rebel. I wasn't the dude that was out there just, you know, when I went to Bannon, I could probably say that <clears throat> I got a standing ovation at Bannon. Um, I'm in school. It's funny. The story is funny. I'm going to give you the backstory on that. Yeah, I got the backstory. But um, <clears throat> I stand up in front of the whole, uh, half of the whole school. During the ceremony, and the assistant principal, she stand up. She up there talking or whatever, and she say, well, tell me why people don't want to come to Bannon High School. And I just stand up, and I yell down to her. I'm probably like halfway up. I'm not even all the way up, you know, in the stadium, in the auditorium. And I just yell. I stand up. I mind you. I stand up, and I yell. Because it's garbage. And when I said that, motherfuckers start clapping. People start whistling. It was like an uproar. And my um, teacher at the time was actually a football coach. So he rung me by the neck faster than I could, you know, appreciate the crowd. So he snatched me up and she he take me straight to her. After the ceremony, well, after the uh, no thing is over, she asked me straight up, why do you think this school is garbage? First of all, she, she asked me, did I say it? And I told her, yes, I said it. I've never been bashful. I've never been a liar. I never cared about authority. You ain't nothing to me. You don't dictate my life. You know what I'm saying? This is me. So she said, <clears throat> so or did you say that? I said, yeah, I said this school is garbage. She said, well, why is this school garbage? I said, you know, it's like a prison here. It's like a prison. And she gave me an OR to Gardena. Gardena, I was more of a rebel with the people. Because I was on some other philosophies that they wasn't on. I was wearing cowboy boots. <laughs>